All right, good, blessed morning, everybody. Um, beautiful blue skies out here today, sunny. Definitely a day that the Lord has made. So really quickly here, uh, the scripture today comes from Proverbs uh, 10, 29, and 30. And I'm reading from the King James Version today. I was reading it and it hit so hard. I asked God, well, what do you want me to read? And I know that, like the default, if you don't know what to read, go read a, a chapter in Proverbs. But I've been uh, kind of bouncing around so much and, and uh, just kind of feeding my spirit. Um, and as soon as I turned to Proverbs, like, you know, God was like chapter 10. So, read chapter 10 and 29 and 30. Um, it's definitely what stood out to me for today. So, verse 29. The way of the Lord is strength to the upright, but destruction shall be to the workers of iniquity. And iniquity is sin. When God is asking you to turn away from your iniquity, he's asking you to turn from your, your wickedness, your sin, that thing that you're doing that's wrong. Verse 30, the righteous shall never be removed, but the wicked shall not inherit the earth. So you know that old saying, um, well, uh, you know, the, what is it? <clears throat> Excuse me. What they say, the earth is the devil's playground. That is a wicked saying. And it's like calling the kettle black before you see it. Let's see, I'm going to read on here for to verse 31. The mouth of the just bringeth forth wisdom, but the forward tongue shall be cut out. In verse 32, the lips of the righteous, the lips of the righteous know what is acceptable, but the mouth of the wicked speaketh forwardness. So the mouth of the wicked speaks without, um, speaks without talking. I mean, speaks without thinking, really. So those are the two verses for today. Um, I, I went ahead and read from 29 to 31. But um, the verses are Proverbs 10, verse 29 to 30, and I'll put it in the description. So I wanted to do that quick reading uh, to let you know exactly what I've been saying and, and exactly what God has put on to me. Stop worrying about what how somebody else did you wrong. Stop worrying about what somebody else is doing, how it's hurting you. Let God handle it. Let God handle it. And I'm 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 a walking testimony to that too. You will have so much peace. I'm telling you, you will have so much peace when you start living like that. When you start moving like that, you you will literally give yourself peace. Man, that's a cool car right there. Big body too. Um Another thing I wanted to give today is a uh, is a praise report. Uh, my, I, I got a chance to talk to my buddy yesterday, and I remember his wife had called me, like uh, like five months ago. Uh, she was like, "Man, I'm done, yada yada yada." Um, and now they they are year married, so this is definitely a praise report. So she had uh, done all this stuff to him, right, and like kicked him out and did all this stuff because of what she thought he had done. I heard both sides of the story and I was like, look, I don't care what one person did or what, what one other person did to the other. What's going to have to happen here is you guys are going to have to hash this out. And she just kept, oh, well, I'm going to divorce you. I'm going to take you to court. And she had him. Sorry, give me a second here. Sorry about that. Had to get my, my water. Um, and she had him, you know, she had him kicked out and had officers come to his house and all that stuff. And uh, it, it got really messy. And I just kept telling both of them, like, you know what, man, I'm pray I'm praying for you guys. You know, um, I'm definitely praying for you guys. You guys are a new couple. And I'm like, talking to her, She, cl she she's clearly still in love with you. And, you know, talking to him I'm like you're clearly still in love with her you're just taken back by what she's doing and the thing is that she's acting out of emotion and I told him I said the best thing for you to do is not to react because I've been there too you know I've been there where as a man I react to that emotion of what they're doing it doesn't work out good anywho so he calls me I called him yesterday we were on the phone for about about two, two and a half hours um, talking and um, they are back together 
S- kind of. Um, and, you know, that speaks to how good God is, man. You know, I knew this was a season of restoration. Oh, man, that's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. You know, he's like, you know, he's a little shaky. Um, he's a little shaky, but God is good. God is good. He's like, uh, <laughs> he's like, they got back together. Um, you know, she's like, he's like, she's apologizing for everything. But one of the big things I had to do after I told them, after I, I'm like, hey, I'm praying for you guys, but you guys are going to have to work this out because not only are you adults, but you're married. So that means you guys are one flesh. So uh, you have to communicate. So, um, you know, she was trying hard not to communicate with him. But at the end of the day, God won. God restored that marriage. And uh, they, they, they're working it, you know, they're working it out now, man. And I can't be more happy for them. You know, I, I, I myself know how difficult it can be um, coming into a marriage and you got two separate personalities. Because what happens when you come into a marriage is, uh, oh, wow. What happens when you come into a marriage and, and you know, especially it's your first time and you haven't really had a good examples is that you come in there thinking that you're going to be two individuals. So individually, what you're thinking is, hey, my happiness depends on my spouse. And that and it goes both ways. Like men, we think our happiness depends on our women. And women, we think our happiness and women, you think your happiness depends on the man. Absolutely not true. The good thing about Adam and Eve is that they were the only two people on earth when they fell from heaven. Or when God kicked them out of the garden. You know, when they experienced the fall. So, there was no brother, sister, mother, uncle to get involved in their relationship and to tell them that, well, you don't go back to him because he did this. That is the biggest issue in relationships today. And I can say I'm glad that they, that they both talked to me about it so I can tell them that they need to redirect themselves back to their spouse. Because you're not going to have people nowadays that care about you that's going to tell you, like, look, man, you're married. That is a commitment. All right? If you boyfriend and girlfriend, you ain't committed to that person. If you fiance, you ain't committed to that person. When you go and take those vows to God to love and cherish that other person, that's the only commitment that God honors. And what it does is it gives you favor with God. Don't make you righteous, but it gives you favor with God because God loves uh, marriage. So that's the praise report, man. God has restored their marriage. God has restored their relationship. I definitely set my prayers up for them, and it's it's amazing. Hold on one second. Like, I could not believe it. I was like, man. And I want to tell you guys, like, hearing that hearing how bad she was <laughs> and hearing how and hearing what he uh what he had allegedly done um i i didn't judge him because pe people mess up man people make mistakes and that's just like that's the same thing like um with Elaine. like i'm not judging you not anymore i, I don't want you to go around lying about the crap that you, that you did <clears throat> you know I'm like, I'm just, man, I'm done with that. I'm done with lying about the crap. But uh, that's the praise support, man. Hallelujah, man. I, man, I knew it was a season of restoration. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I kept seeing it everywhere. And a little nugget, man, I saw this license plate last night, man, as I was just like driving in the car, and it said God on it. And then, and then I saw another license plate that said Angel. And I'm like, I'm like, man, like, are you about to brain me? Like, you know, I don't know. I don't know, but it, it like I said, man, it, it, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, man. They relationship restored. Um, 
I said he's a little skeptic about it, but I know him and it's natural uh, for what he's been through. But I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, guys. Um, I pray the entire arm I got over you guys as the viewers of this video. Thank you, man. Take care. And um, I, of course, bless my, bless my, uh, bless my children, bless my family, and I, I, I want to bless everybody. And and you know, always remember, man. Like it's gonna get, it's gonna get worse before it's your breakthrough. Because what the devil wants to do is he wants he wants you to give up right there at the finish line. Don't give up. Do not give up. And keep praying for everybody. But you guys have a blessed day, man. I thank you guys so much. Take care.